Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, I'm gonna tell you the difference in between the dividend aristocrat and the dividend aristocrat king. It's a very big difference. And if you stick to to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you all of my top picks of the dividend aristocrat kings. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back. If you guys have been subscribed to this channel for a while, you will know that I made a video not too long ago about the dividend aristocrats and what they actually are. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out this channel a lot. But to explain what a dividend aristocrat is, it's a company that has been inside the S&P 500 and has increased their dividend payouts every single year for the last 25 years, okay? So if it's 2020, they would have to increase their dividends every single year since 1995. So this is a company that has been dedicated to uh, paying back their um, investors through dividends by increasing their dividends every single year. And this company also has to be inside the S&P 500, which is hard enough to do by itself. So A, you have to be in S&P 500 for 25 years and you have to increase your dividends for the last 25 years. Now, to explain to you guys what a dividend aristocrat king is, is their company that has been inside the S&P 500 and increased their dividend payments for the last 50 years. Every single year they increase their payment for the last 50 years years and some of these companies are close to increasing their dividend payments for the last 60 years and so if it's 2020 right now they've increased their dividends since the 1960s and these companies are been a, they've been around and they're gonna stay around for a very long time and if you're a dividend investor these companies have a very safe dividend score uh, the dividend score means uh, is the company paying out too much dividends or too little dividends or are they at risk at cutting their dividends. And since these companies have increased and show potential to further increase their dividends this year and for years to come over the last 50, 57, 60 years, um, their dividend safety score is very high and the chances of them increasing it even through this um, pandemic that was, that's going on right now, they're still going to increase their dividends for the following years. So I'm going to pull up the list of these dividend aristocrat kings. I'm going to tell you guys which ones are my favorite, which ones I have already invested into, and which ones is a good buy for this month of June 2020. Let's pull up these um, dividend aristocrat kings right now. All right, so currently there are 15 companies that are dividend aristocrat kings inside the S&P 500. So it's no easy task by far. And right now there are currently only 15 that I know of. Here's a list. So we're gonna go through and explain which ones I really like, uh, why I like them. And then if you was to purchase it today, how much would you get paid in dividends? So the first one that comes up is Harmel, ticker symbol HRL. Market cap value, $24 billion, okay? As you guys know, I like to invest in companies that have a market cap over $1 billion. Um, HRL has a market cap of $24 billion, and they have a dividend yield of 2.1%. Uh, they have increased their dividends the last 54 years. So they, so they have increased it through a recession, and they're probably gonna increase it through this pandemic that's going on as well to make it year 55. So they have a very safe dividend of 2.1%. Basically what they are, they're a package and food company best known for spam. Okay, let's scroll on down to the next one, which is Dover, tickle symbol DOV. They have a market cap of, I mean a market value of $10.8 billion with a dividend yield of 2.6%. So the, so far, uh, they have the highest dividend yield of these two companies that I just talked about so far of 2.6 percent and they actually increased their dividends over the last 64 years 64 years okay so um so dover uh they have brand pumps lifts and productivity tools for the energy uh energy business um i'm not sure exactly what dover does but obviously there's a company that pays out dividends and they've been around for a very long time and they increased their dividends over the last 64 years Okay, now for number three, we're pulling up one of my favorite dividend aristocrat kings is Lowe's, tickle symbol, 
L-O-W. They have a market value of $59 billion with a high dividend of 2.9%. They increased their dividends over the last 57 years. Lowe's is um, Home Depot's biggest competitor, but I don't think Home Depot pays out dividends. And Lowe's is in the S&P 500 and they increased it uh, for the last 57 years. Um, let's take a look at Lowe's. If you were to purchase one share of Lowe's today, how much would you make in dividends? Uh, L-O-W, Lowe's Company. I went over to Seeking Alpha. If you purchase one share of Lowe's at $130.81, you will get paid out $2.20 from Lowe's, okay? So let's go on back over to the list. The next company is Colgate. Uh, pretty sure if you ever brushed your teeth in life, you've probably seen uh, Colgate. They have a market cap. They have a market value of $52.3 billion. Um, Colgate is another one of my favorites. I haven't invested into them yet, but I'm, I'm looking forward into investing into Colgate. Tickle symbol CL. Uh, they have increased their dividends over the last 57 years with a dividend yield of 2.9%. Let's take a look and see how much will we be paid from Colgate. Ticker symbol CL. Uh, if you buy one share at $73.51, uh, you will get uh, paid out $1.76. So Colgate is looking like a steal right now. For just $73, I would get paid back $1.76 for every share that I own of Colgate. Let's go back over to the list and scroll down a little bit more. Uh, Parker & Gamble, they're well known for their uh, Tide products. They own a bunch of different products. Tide detergent, uh, Pampers, uh, Gillette razors. So this company is an amazing company, okay? Parker & Gamble. I am going to purchase this before I purchase Colgate. This is Tickle Symbol PG. Um, their market value is $255 billion dollars with a dividend yield of 2.9 percent this is um procter and gamble took a symbol pg let's pull that up right quick the price right now is 119 dollars and five cents uh one share of procter and gamble you will receive a annual payment of three dollars and 16 cents for every share that you own of pg the next one if we scroll down a little bit is black and decker their tools are amazing. They have increased their dividend payouts over the last 52 years. The market value is $13.9 billion with a dividend yield with the highest so far with 3.1% and that is Black & Decker. Um, I like their tools. I'm not a, a, a big builder myself. I know how to fix things, but I don't build houses or fix cars and things like that. So I, I am eventually going to buy and purchase every single dividend aristocrat king, but this one is uh, not at the top of my list right now, but this is an amazing company. Ticker symbol SWK Black & Decker. If we scroll down, Cincinnati Financials. Uh, they've increased their dividends over the last 60 years. Tickle symbol CINF. They have a market cap value, market value of 12.6 billion, and they have the highest dividend yield so far with 3.1%. Illinois Tool Works. This one has a market value of $43.9 billion. Dividend yield, 3.1% dividend yield, and they have increased theirs over the last. 56 years uh tickle symbol itw um it was founded in 1912 so this company has seen a depression recession and a, a global pandemic and they have still managed to increase their dividends over the last 56 years so this is a a pretty stable company and that's why their dividend score is so high and it, i don't think they are at risk of cutting their dividends after doing so well over the last 56 years and one of my favorite ones that I actually have invested in is Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol J&J. Their market value is at $314 billion with the highest dividend yield score so far uh, at 3.2%. So let's go over to Seeking Alpha and see how much would you make um, from Johnson & Johnson just by buying and holding one share over the course of a year. Uh, they have increased their dividends every year for the last 57 years. So, J&J. &J. All right, so there you go. You will make 
$4.04. Johnson Johnson is currently at $146.77. So right now you could be getting it at a steal, but you will make $4.04 for every share of Johnson & Johnson that you hold. So let's go back to the list. So Johnson Johnson is definitely in my top three. The next one, Coca-Cola, is also in my top three. This one has a market value of $169 billion with the highest dividend yield score so far at 4.2%. Coca-Cola has increased their dividends over the last 58 years. You know what Coca-Cola is. I know what Coca-Cola is. We all talk about Coca-Cola. Uh, ticker, ticker symbol KO. Let's check out Coca-Cola over on Seeking Alpha. K oh and there it goes coca-cola is currently at 49 dollars and 85 cents and you will pay out will be one dollar and 64 cents worth of every share from coca-cola so uh coca-cola is a very stable company they're a real known brand uh throughout the entire world it's not just a united states brand coca-cola sold all over the world so this is why coca-cola is in my top three and I'm pretty sure my next one in top three is coming up right now. 3M, tickle symbol, MMM, uh, 76 billion, dividend yield of 4.4%. Uh, 3M makes everything from N95 masks to sticky notes. 3M makes everything. So let's take a um, quick look at Seeking Alpha at 3M. Oh wait, uh, they increased their dividends over the last 62 years. So let's take a quick look at 3M over on Seeking Alpha. And there you go, you will make uh, $5.88 for every share that you hold of 3M. It's currently at $166.87. That's tickle symbol, MMM. The next one is Immersion Electric, tickle symbol EMR, a uh, uh, $27.1 billion market value with a dividend yield of 4.5%. So that's a very high percent. Uh, they increased their dividends. For the last 63 years that's tickle symbol e m r if we scroll down then the next one is tickle symbol s y y they have a market value of 19.8 billion with a dividend yield of 4.6 percent now these are starting to get to some high dividend yields okay guys this one has increased their dividends they had just been announced uh the dividend aristocrat king uh they increased it over to uh, the last 51 years so i believe last year or the year before that they crossed over for 49 years to 50 years and been crowned a dividend aristocrat king and it shows why and they also have a high dividend are they gonna be able to, to increase their dividends for the next 10 20 years with a high dividend a yield of 4.6 percent i'm not sure it's pretty high right now but i think they would try to to re remain a dividend aristocrat king for as long as possible okay so they don't want to just get into it and then drop out of it so i can see them increasing their dividends uh this year as well let's scroll down to probably the last one genuine parts high dividend yields uh tickle symbol gpc dividend yield is 5.2 percent and market value 8.8 billion dollars this is uh like for automotive uh yeah, this is for automotive and industrial replacement parts, GPC, with a, a dividend yield of 5.2%. And the last one is Federal Realty Investment Trust. It is a, a real estate investment trust. It is a REIT. They increased their dividends the last 64 years. Uh, market value of 5.5 billion, dividend yield of 5.5%. Um, Tickle symbol FRT. Okay, so that is a good real estate REIT. They increased it the last 64 years. Doing how real estate is looking now, uh, will they be able to increase it? I'm pretty sure they, they should be able to increase it from 64 to 65 years. I don't see them cutting it. Uh, real estate is not looking really pretty right now. It could have a pretty good bounce back since a lot of people are going to buy at the low, try to ride the wave back to the top. But that is tickle symbol FRT. So, okay, guys, uh, that was worth 15 dividend aristocrat kings. They make dividend aristocrats look like chump change. They've been in the S&P 500 and increased their dividend uh, payouts every single year for the last 50 years. If you guys was interested in any of those dividend aristocrat kings, 
uh, leave a comment down below which one was your favorite which ones do you own and which ones do you plan to pick up in the future uh, but other than that make sure that you subscribe to this channel I have many videos coming out soon hit that thumbs up button it really helps out a lot but other than that I'm Zeke bringing you the dream green show and I'm out peace